Hello, welcome to a very exciting Creature tutorial and Happy New Year! In this tutorial, I am going to talk about a new Creature pack runtime for Coco's Creator and the WeChat Minigames engine. And so you're probably wondering what those are. I'll go through them in detail and then we'll jump into the tutorial itself to show you how to set up a Creature Pack animation in Coco's Creator and then publish it onto the WeChat Minigames platform. So the what is Coco's Creator? Coco's Creator is a JavaScript-based framework. As you can see on screen here, it looks a bit like Unity. It's got the same, you know, component-based architecture, except of course the scripting language is done in JavaScript. Uh, it's actually really cool. It's got a full-blown, you know, integrated simple animation editor. It has a full suite of GUI widget tools that you can use for your games and, and much more. And, and crucially, it is actually targeted at 2D games, right? So that makes it a perfect candidate for Creature. Now, the other really interesting thing about Coco's Creator is that it makes it very easy to publish onto the WeChat Minigames framework or platform. And so what is that? Well, it's something like this. So this is an example of a game on the WeChat Minigames platform. It's super popular. And the WeChat Minigames platform, just for your info, is a, a framework or platform in China that serves hundreds of millions of users. So if you're interested in targeting the huge potential market, then you might want to consider actually publishing for that platform, just, just a side note. It's also popular in other countries you know, outside of China that are Chinese speaking. That would be Singapore, Taiwan, and others. So definitely consider it. And this is what this tutorial is about. It's about using Coco's Creator and then publishing onto the WeChat Minigames platform using the new Creature Pack runtimes. Now, before I continue, I want to talk about where to download these, these you know, IDEs and, and whatnot. So let's start with Coco's Creator. You, uh, the links will be provided in the description below. So you go to the Coco's 2DX page, and then you go in and download Coco's Creator that, that gives you the IDE, okay? And in the Coco's Creator documentation, there is a page called Publishing to WeChat Minigames, which actually goes through in very much in detail how to you know, publish your title onto the WeChat Minigame environment. So I recommend you read through those. And then you go to the developer's website for on, on, on WeChat to actually download the development platform, the SDK. It's got 64 bits and 32 bits and Mac as well. So make sure you set those up before we start this tutorial. And then lastly, of course, you go on to the Creature GitHub, right? And you go to the WebGL part of the runtimes. And in there, you, you'll find that I have put a directory called Coco's Creator. Click on that and you'll see there's actually full on documentation um, everything you really wanted to know, or you can just watch this video, which is what we're going to do, to actually help to set up the Creature Pack runtimes for Coco's Creator, and then we're going to publish it for the WeChat minigame engine. Now, I've been working very closely with a rather large AAA developer um, to get the Creature Pack runtimes ready for Coco's Creator and also ready for the WeChat minigame engine. So it's ready from day one, which means that you could you know, use the Creature Pack runtimes and that's uh, to, to publish for the, you know, all the mobile platforms that WeChat Game Engine supports. And the reason why we pick Creature Pack is because of its compact size, optimal performance, and just overall ease of integration. So that's basically what you want. It's got all the features that you think, you know, you, you want for a game, including high performance, delta compression, gap step compression, skin swapping, animation switching, and more, that sort of thing, right? So it's all here. Uh, and so without further ado, uh, let's jump into the actual part of using the runtimes and publishing onto WeChat minigames. Okay, so before we begin, I need to emphasize that all the Creature Pack assets that you export have to be converted to a B64 encoded text file. This is just how it is for the WeChat platform, as we found out. It's a lot easier to get those assets packaged up into your game. So that's the first thing you need to do. How do you do that? Well, I have provided a very handy utility called b64encode.py. It's a Python script that's also in the 
WebGL runtimes directory. So you can just invoke it as long as you have Python installed. If you don't have Python, please install it. There is a lot of websites that you can just download Python and install it. It's a standard scripting language that you should have in your system. Now, how do you run this? Well, here's an example, right? So I type Python, b64 encode.py, and let's say I have a creature pack file called raptor underscore data dot creature underscore pack. I just, you know, put it as the first argument and then I give it a, a new file name. Typically, I call it the same file name with a .txt. It has to be a .txt, so it's a text extension, right? So I do that, I press enter, and then it says wrote to b64 text file, and you are done. And remember, this is the file that you are going to have to use to actually import into Coco's Creator. So remember that. This is the actual file, not the original creature pack file, but this converted b64 text file is what we're going to use. Also, for the meta JSON, you should also give it a .json extension. Now, both of these important things are documented in, in the documentation page, the readme page on the GitHub. So please make sure these two conditions are satisfied before we continue with the tutorial. Right, so welcome to Coco's Creator, and I assume you've actually gone through some really basic Coco's Creator tutorials on the website, but it's really not that difficult. It's actually quite familiar to any user uh, who's used Unity or related engines. Now, it has a hierarchy, as you can tell, on the top left-hand corner of the screen. And so what I'm going to do now is we're going to actually just put a simple character. We're going to use the skin swap girl for this demo because we're going to de demonstrate not just the animation but also skin swapping because that character comes with a, a bunch of costumes for swapping. So it's what, what better to demonstrate that than this, this demo. Right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the main camera. I'm going to right click, go create, and I'll create an empty node under the main camera. Yeah? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I need to actually drag in all the runtime files on into, into my assets directory in Coco's Creator. Now, the runtime files are provided on the WebGL runtimes page. You can actually just you know git clone it and just drag it in there. It's actually a, a usable project, yeah. And again, the actual details are documented here. But really, it's super simple. You just literally take these files and dump it into your Coco's Creator assets directory, and that sets up your project ready for Creature Pack runtimes. Okay. So okay. So now we have a new node. The next thing we're going to do is we just drag the Creature Pack pack draw component. So take this, drag it, and just drop it here. And it's that's it. It's set up for the creature pack runtimes. Yeah? Now we're going to actually connect the texture the, the, or the atlas of the character up first. So it's the skin swap. That's your PNG of your character. So just drag it, drop it into char texture that sets it up. And then the next thing we're going to do is remember the b64 encoded creature pack text file. Well, that should actually be in your resources folder. So in this case, I have a skin swap 2x creature pack.txt file. It's 2x because I'm using 2x delta compression, which makes it which makes the, this animation super tiny. It's perfect for the WeChat game engine. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to drop it in the creature pack asset. Yeah, and so it says loaded character. You don't see the character yet. Don't worry, we're going to see it. But then before we you know, make the character appear, I'm also going to drag in the metadata. Now remember, I, I said you have to re rename it with a .json extension. If you do, then the icon will change, and then you can conveniently, again, drag it into the metadata asset slot, OK? And now it says loaded metadata with five skin swaps and nine mesh regions. So that's great. And how do we see our character? Well, very simple. Look, the size is zero right now. So let's change the size to say 150 and uh, 150 for the height as well. Yeah. And there you have it. That's our character. Pretty cool, huh? Now, of course, this is the full character without skin swapping. So we actually want skin swapping. So what we do is we type in the skin swap name, if I remember correctly, enable skin swap, and there you have it. This is the character with the with the skin swap, the, the skin called Cape. Yeah. 
Okay, and I'm going to give it an animation to, to switch to. I'll, go, I'll use the cape animation, same, same name as the skin swap. So there you have it. So this is our character with the skin swap of cape, and I've also used the cape animation as well. And then to actually preview this character, you just move your mouse over to the play button, click on it, and the Coco's Creator web previewer opens opens a web browser, and there you have it. That is your creature pack character running at you know a very decent refresh rate on the previewer, the web previewer. So this is just a preview, but there you have it. Okay, so this is your WebGL HTML5 game ready. For, for publishing on, on the web, but what if you wanted to publish to the WeChat minigames framework? Well, we're gonna go through that next. Okay, so let's start publishing this for the WeChat minigames framework. Now, you should read through the full-on in-depth documentation on the Cocos Creator website to set up the paths for, so that you know the Cocos Creator framework actually finds the WeChat SDK that you installed. But once you've done that, Publishing is, is actually super simple. Move your mouse to project, click on build, yeah, and this window comes up, and all you need to do now is click, you know, find the scene. I'm gonna use the skin swap girl, which you already have, click on build, and then there it goes, compiling the assets and your game for the WeChat minigame platform. Now, once it's completed, click on play. This will launch the WeChat minigames IDE which will show up and we're going to see in a moment let's see what we have here let's see there you have it <laughs> it's running in the simulator of the WeChat games environment and then from here on you just basically publish it you have to make sure you have your ID developer ID and all that set up and you can then publish it for the mobile device that you are targeting very simple so this is a end-to-end -end demo as I said that shows you how to actually get your creature pack animations onto the WeChat mini games framework or platform. You're going to be able to actually tap into a huge potential uh, user user base uh, of of players that want to play your game. And creatures uh, run times are right there with you, ready for this platform. So it's a very exciting opportunity. I really think you should take advantage of it. So I hope you enjoy the, enjoy this tutorial and you appreciate the runtimes I've provided. Thanks for watching and happy animating.